Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento to replace Add to Cart plugin. And today we'll be showing you how the uh, Magento 2 Web Store admin would be able to change the standard Add to Cart button label with the custom text, link, email, or a phone number. The admin can define product IDs and can select categories for which the replaced Add to Cart button uh, would not function. Apart from that, we'll also be showing you. Uh, how this uh, particular plugin can be used for many purposes like uh, pre-launch products, restricting the product purchase for the customers, for uh, pre-orders, made-to-order, call-to-order products, etc. Uh, also, uh, the customized Add to Cart button will be visible on all the pages of the stores uh, such as the product page, category, search page, advanced search page, uh, wish list, compare page and the other CMS pages that are there within your Magento 2 web store. So, so we'll be showing you the workflow the, of this particular plugin at the store front end. So we'll see how uh, the replaced uh, uh, options uh, that the admin has chosen from the back end like uh, uh, we have uh, what we say as the uh, text link email or a phone number in place of the uh, add to cart label on the uh, product pages and the other pages that we've already told you so uh, uh, let's get ahead and let's see how this particular plugin works and uh, in the last we'll be seeing how the admin can configure this particular plugin initially before making use of the same at the uh, storefront by the customers so uh, here I'm at the Magento 2 web store right now as you can see and uh, I'll be uh, logging into my account first. So for that I'll just tap here on the sign in uh, link and I'll open that up in another window. So this particular demonstration right now uh, that we're going to uh, uh, show you. In this particular uh, demonstration we have changed the uh, text uh, of the add to cart button. So here you can see that we have the add item to your cart. So it's a custom text that the admin has uh, used or in place of the add to cart button. So here we see that this is the default add to cart label and this one is add item to your cart. So this is basically uh, the thing that uh, we were talking about that uh, the admin has changed the uh, label for this particular uh, add to cart button. So uh, whenever the admin has set the text as an option for the replace add to cart field, uh, then it would be visible on the, uh, right now as you can see on the category page that we have. So uh, basically we have replaced the add to cart button with by the text from the backend. So it gets visible here on the uh, category pages. Now let's uh, go to the product page. So here as well, you'll be able to see uh, the same on the uh, product page. Now, if we go to the search page, as you can see right now, uh, I have searched for the Pro TS Fitness. Here as well, we can see the uh, custom text that the admin has set up uh, in place of the uh, add to cart uh, field that we have here. And uh, if we go to the compare products uh, section as well, and there as well, uh, the customer can see the uh, uh, the, the, the text that the admin has set up uh, for the add to cart button from the admin backend panel. Apart from that, if uh, any of the products are added to the customer's uh, wish list as well, they as well, the customer can see uh, the uh, respective add to cart button uh, text that the admin has set up for that particular product from the backend panel. So this was how we can check uh, the uh, uh, how uh, the customers would be able to see the uh, text at the front end uh, that has been uh, replaced for the add to cart button in place of uh, the add to cart button. So here we are on the wish list. Then we have the compare product page. Then we have the search page. Then we have the product page. And uh, we have the uh, category page as well. So apart from that also, uh, if you can uh, see, let me show you uh, if I do an advanced search. So for that, uh, I'll just go to my uh, section. Uh, let me choose uh, style and here let me tap here on the insulated now let the uh, insulated advanced search uh, for the product uh, bring up the results first okay now uh, we are shopping by the style insulated and here as well we can see the product uh, having the uh, same text uh, that has been replaced for the add to cart uh, uh, there so that's how we the customers can 
see the particular uh, text uh, on the uh, advanced search page as well so this was for the uh, text thing now uh, let's get ahead and let's see how the admin would be able to uh, set up uh, uh, what we say as the phone number uh, so we'll just see how uh, the admin can replace the add to cart button uh, by the phone number and uh, how it is then uh, uh, visible to the customers at the storefront so if I choose the phone number then whenever I hold my mouse on any of these pages that is the advanced search page uh, the product page the search page the uh, computer products page and the wish list that particular uh, replaced uh, add to cart button by phone number so the phone number would be visible uh, to the uh, customers so for that let me go to the admin backend panel and let me configure the settings first and then I'll come back to this section and we'll proceed with the other uh, uh, other things that we have like the link and uh, the other options uh, that are available there so uh, first of all uh, let me go to the admin backend panel so I've just made the changes and uh, in place of uh, the add item to your cart now we can see a phone number that would be displayed to the customers and uh, to purchase this product they can choose that uh, particular phone number they can call on it to get the rest of the details for the same so let me refresh this uh, page once again uh, to show you the same so right now I'm at the product page and if I scroll down here you can see that in place of the add uh, to cart button now we have the contact as uh, option for the product and the customer can make use of this uh, contact number to access uh, the different uh, options or the uh, uh, details of this uh, product that they want to purchase so that's how uh, we have uh, made use of the phone number that gets visible to the customers and uh, the same is being reflected on the uh, search page advanced search page uh, the uh, compare pr uh, product page and the my wish list as well so here we are on the uh, search page as you can see here for the respective product and uh, if I hover my mouse you can see that it has the contact us the uh, mobile number uh, that can be made used by the customers and for the other products you can see there is the add to cart normal button that we have and for this particular one we have the phone number uh, that we have used to replace the add to cart button all right and now let me take you to the compare product section and here you can see that uh, the add to cart is changed by the contact us on the mobile number and uh, within the uh, my wish list as well you can see the option that's the contact us on the mobile number so that was about the text and the link and uh, now let's get ahead and let's see how we can set up the email address so let me do that and uh, in the end I'll show you the uh, admin uh, workflow wherein we'll be showing you how we can uh, uh, set up all of these uh, things there so first let me uh, change it uh, to the email now so after using the uh, email now if I go to my wish list and hold my mouse you can see that we in the place of add to cart button now we have the mail us option and the customers can uh, make use of this email address to get the details of the respective product now let me go to the uh, product comparison page once again and here as well you can see now the add to cart button is being replaced by the email address that the admin has set up from the backend panel now let's go to the search so here you can see that on the category page that we have that's uh, for the men's uh, jackets you can see that we have the mail address here as well so here we are on the uh, uh, what we say as the search page for the Proteus Fitness uh, product and here as well we can see the mail uh, option is there for this particular products add to cart button in place of that and the email address is also visible on the uh, uh, what we say as the advanced search page with the style that we have uh, uh, filtered it for and here as well we can see the mail uh, uh, that is uh, pro, uh, that is made visible to the customers in place of the add to cart button and, and the same uh, is uh, for the product page as well now let's see how the admin can uh, replace the add to cart button with a link so for that let me go to the admin backend panel and make the configuration first and uh, this was the mobile phone number uh, when the admin uh, replaces the add to cart button with the uh, mobile number then this is visible on all of the pages like the category page product page compare page uh, search page advanced wishlist page and on the CMS pages as well and similarly when the admin has uh, made use of the text then the text would be visible that's the normal one 
and that is also visible on the different uh, uh, sections there and uh, one more thing is there that the customers can uh, basically easily add the uh, products to the cart and uh, can check out when the uh, add to cart button is replaced by the customer uh, text and uh, at that time uh, they'll be seeing uh, one of the uh, respective uh, what we say as the uh, prompts so for example if uh, the admin has set up uh, the add to cart button as a link then when they are going to add the product uh, uh, to the cart for uh, the checkout they'll see that uh, uh, there they'll find one uh, message uh, for uh, for uh, getting back to the store owner through the email uh, uh, or the link that the admin has set up so after setting up the link for the add to cart button on the uh, my wishlist section you can see that we have this link to uh, which is the store so this has been set up from the backend panel and similarly on the company products page as well the uh, customer can see the particular link for in place of the add to cart button as you can see right now and the same goes for the search page uh, the, ca the category page the product page and uh, the advanced search page as well so uh, that was how the uh, how the admin can uh, replace the add to cart uh, button uh, by text link mobile number or an email out uh, there and that is visible then to the customers at the storefront at the various uh, pages that have been already shown you now let's go to the admin backend panel and let's see how the store admin can set up this particular uh, plugin initially so uh, for that let me take you to the admin backend panel now so I'll be logging into my admin backend panel uh, for my Magento 2 web store by entering my username and password and thereafter from the dashboard uh, we need to navigate uh, for the initial configuration settings through stores and then configuration and on the configuration page under the web cool block uh, we'll go to the uh, option that's the replace add to cart and tapping that up brings up the uh, configuration settings for this particular uh, plugin itself so here we have the replace add to cart and the very first option that we have is to enable or disable this functionality to enable choose yes otherwise choose no to disable the functionality uh, within your store then we have the replace add to cart so here you can choose uh, the option that you want to set uh, in place of the add to cart button that we have for the products so you can choose to have the text link email or the phone number if i tap here on the text we can see that we can set up the label uh, that would be visible on the uh, product itself in place of the add to cart similarly we can choose a link we'll set up the link label and the link url then we can choose it as an email we can set up the email and then we can choose it as a phone number as well and the same uh, options that we have uh, respectively chosen from here at uh, one time that would be uh, replacing the add to cart button within your Magento 2 web store then after we have the option to select the categories for which you want to enable this particular functionality so all of your categories would be displayed here and accordingly you can uh, choose one multiple or as per your own requirement uh, the categories for which it should apply then you can set up the product ids here uh, for which you do not want to change the uh, uh, default add to cart button uh, and you if for which you do not want to uh, replace the add to cart uh, button with uh, any of these uh, options from these options then just enter the product ids uh, and you can uh, add multiple product ids as per your own requirement uh, for which you don't want to uh, implement this particular feature itself thereafter you just need to tap here on the save configure and uh, we are done configuring the uh, uh, module itself and now it is ready to work uh, and to use at the store front end to the customers as well so uh, that was much about the Magento 2 replace add to cart button and uh, plugin I'm sorry for that and if you still have any questions queries or uh, suggestions regarding the plugin then uh, you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcall.com or you may raise a ticket at webcall.ubidest.com. Thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.